Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to demo and review a website called Remove.bg. They claim that they can remove the background from your image in five seconds without a single click. Before I begin, let me state that I have no affiliation with Remove.bg. As far as I know, they have no clue who I am. If you decide to purchase their product, I won't make any money on the deal. You know, I never really heard of Remove.bg, but I guess they've been around for a while. Recently, though, they've been in the news. And when I say in the news, the photography news websites like Petapixel and F-Stoppers have written some articles about them because they now have a plugin available for Photoshop. And their thing is, as I mentioned, they'll remove the background from your image. So they basically clip your subject out of the image. And I thought it would be pretty cool to just demo their website and see how, or demo their service and see how it works. Now, a couple things right off the bat, I should tell you, it really will only remove a person or a product. So the first thing, of course, I tried, I had a gorilla uh, with a background, you know, the gorilla was there and I wanted to like get rid of the background and right away it said, couldn't find a person, couldn't find a product. So it really only works with people or products. Uh, secondly, the pricing is a little confusing. So I'm going to do my best to explain that first. First of all, you could use it right on their website for free, all you want. So you could download or upload, I should say, you know, a thousand images if you want and get the backgrounds removed for free. But what they return to you is a really low resolution image. Uh, really, if you're a professional, even if you're an enthusiast, a photo enthusiast, it's not good enough. It's not going to be good enough. Um, and I'm going to demo it in a moment and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you're going to probably have to pay for it if you really want to upload anything with even medium resolution. Now, as far as the pricing is concerned, that's where it starts to get kind of confusing. Um, they have this thing here, a monthly subscription, and this kind of like work book thing up at the top where you type how many images you need and what resolution per month, and it's going to recommend a package to you or packages to you. Ignore all that. First of all, they have... A small images are 625 by 400. Now I mentioned that's really low resolution, so not much there. And it says one credit. And that's kind of confusing because you could do as many small images as you want uh, through the website. Where you'd have to pay for it is if you're using what they call API calls or you're using the plugin for Photoshop. Then you would have to pay for it. Although they do give you with the plugin or the API call, when you first sign up with the website, they give you five free credits right away. And the credits could be applied to as far in, like you could do one HD image with five credits. So they give you five credits for free just to sign up. But they also give you free or 50 free small images a month. So you could do small images for free uh, through the Photoshop plugin or the API call. And the API calls a bit of code that you could use on your website in your workflow to send images to them to get this um, backgrounds removed, but they only return a small image. So you could upload a high definition image, you know, a medium format camera image even. You could upload to them, but they're just going to return to you a small image. So you know, that's where it's confusing also. So anyway, uh, medium is three credits. That's uh, 15 by 1500 by 1000. HD is 2500 by 1600. And that's five credits. 4K, which is something I'd be more interested in. I think most professionals probably want is 4000 by 2500. That's eight credits. Basically, with the monthly plan, you get 125 credits for $9 a month. And you can mix and match. You don't have to do all HD. You don't have to do all 4K. You don't have to do all medium. You could do a medium. You could do a 4K. You could just, they just charge you the appropriate number of credits 
for the size image you want returned to you. So uh, again, 125 credits is $9 a month. Uh, 750 credits is $39 a month and so on. It could get very expensive. I don't know about you, but I'm getting really tired of monthly subscriptions. I think it's death by a thousand cuts. Uh, we're getting, you know, I'm paying monthly for Adobe, Microsoft Office, um, you know, iCloud. Uh, I can't, there's so many, you know, Dropbox. I'm paying all these monthly things and I don't want another monthly subscription. So they do have a pay as you go option. So you could just buy credits. For example, five credits is a buck 99. So you could do one, what was it? One HD image. And an HD image again is 2,500 by 1,600. Uh, so you could upload to them again. You could upload to them like 8,000 by 4,000, but you're going to only get back a 2,500 by 1,600 image with no background in it. Um, 50 credits is $10 and so on. So uh, pay as you go might work better for you. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to demo it. And I'm going to just use uh, the website uh, remove background. And again, with the website, if you're doing it through the website, you could do as many as you want a month, but they're only going to return to you that small, low resolution image. And what we're going to do is a number of different images so I could demo some different situations. First of all is this image, which is kind of my standard image that I use when I teach removing a background. It's a very easy back, uh, background because it's just seamless white paper. But the model, it's a little more challenging because she has a lot of curls and a lot of little like gaps in the middle of her hair here where the background shows through. So you may remember I used this exact image for a Photoshop demo. It took me more than five seconds, but I was able to remove that background relatively easily with Photoshop. Uh, next, we'll try an image of a model with a very blurry background. So the background's really, really blurred, uh, has some flyaway hair. Next, we'll do this model with a little bit of flyaway hair, but the background isn't as blurry and it's a little more um, varied. We have drapery on the left and we have like, I don't know, door or something on the right. Then this one, which is some dappled light, uh, the flyaway hair is brighter in some areas than it is in other areas. I'd like to see how it does with this image. And finally, how will it work with a translucent situation, which you will often get with a bride with her uh, gown and most often her veil. In this image here, we have the translucent veil, which is allowing the black background to come through. What if we want to remove that background and really have a new background show through the veil? You may remember that I did a uh, video on Topaz Remask and I used this exact image and you could see how I was able to remove the background uh, very easily and allow it to be translucent. So this new background I dropped in, that's this new fire in the sky background I dropped in, you could see that it shows through the veil. So with Topaz Remask I was able to do that uh, quite easily in with this background um, application, let's see what we could do with it. So we're going to start out with the curly haired model. I'm going to select a photo. And by the way, you could upload the photo directly or just enter the URL where your photo is. So if you have a website and the image is on your website, just enter the photo URL and it will uh, remove the background there as well. So we're going to select the photo and we're going to do that curly haired model first. And we're going to click open. And it says it takes five seconds without a single click. I guess they, they don't count the click of upload. And then it will come up and it shows uh, our model. Now, at first glance, it looks like it did a good job. Uh, but this is such a small rendering, it's kind of hard to really judge. So I'll go over some of the edit functions later. But let's just download this. All right, so I'm going to click download. And we're going to go to our downloads folder. And there she is right there. And you can see it's very, very low resolution. As a matter of fact, it's 500 by 500 pixels. So that is incredibly low. Um, let's maximize this, get a better look. All right, well, it's such low resolution, it's really hard to judge really the curls because that, you know, is hard. But where it really failed is little gaps in her hair that is more towards her face. You can see it did not remove that background at all there. Not at all. So 
Um, in my opinion, it failed with the curly haired model. It did not uh, do a good enough job. It did not do an adequate job uh, for this uh, specific application. Now, it does have a little edit tool here. And if you click on it, um, you're presented with this. And basically, you could erase more or restore more. And you could adjust the size of the brush. And it's really difficult to do. I mean, I can't even get the brush small enough probably to get in here and to actually see what I'm doing. You see, like, like I can't do it. Um, then you could add a background. So you can, you know, add a color, like, I don't know, add red and click OK. So you can see the white, how it's in, in their hair here. The white is coming through. Um, so again, in my opinion, it failed with our curly haired model. Let's go on to the model with the really blurry background. So the model was outside, but the background was totally blurred out. We'll take a look at what it does there. And again, it you know takes a second or two, supposedly five. And I think this one looks pretty good. I'm not going to download this, but you can see the flyaway hair. It looks like it got all right. Over in here, you can see this gap here. It, it allowed the background to come through. So in this one, I would say it probably passed. Um, so we'll do the next one. The next one was with the model that had the background not as out of focus. So we'll download that and or upload that, I should say, to them. And there's our model in there. And um, yeah, I think it did pretty good. You could see the gaps in her hair here. It allowed the background to come through. It looks like it did over here as well. So I think it did a pretty good job there. I'm not going to download that for the sake of time, but I think that did pretty well. And again, you could do as many as you want through the website. You'll get the small uh, images returned to you. What I suggest you do if you're interested in the product, just go to their website. The link will be in the description below this video and upload some of your own images and see how it does um, and go from there. Now, the next image was the uh, model was outside with the dappled light on her hair. Um, so see what it does there. And um, it kind of looks a little odd up in here. But let's download this one and we'll take a better, closer look at it. And again, it returns the small image. Uh, the image is 408 by 613. Uh, so again, it's small. And it actually did a very good job up here. Over here on the left, not as good of a job. But I, where the dappled light is, I think it did a really nice job. And it's such low resolution, it's really hard to tell because the resolution of the fine hairs that are fly away over here are just kind of so blurry. It's, it's difficult to see how good of a job it actually did. For this one, I would say it passed. So um, the curly hair model, it failed, in my opinion. Um, the uh, model with the blurred background, I'd say it passed. The model with the background that wasn't as blurred, I'd say it passed. The model with the dappled light on her hair, I would say it passed. And let's go now to the most difficult one, in my opinion, is the bride with the translucent veil. So we'll click on that and see what it does. And that you could see it failed miserably. Uh, the veil is not translucent at all. We still have the black background beh beh uh, behind it. There's nothing you could do with edit to make that come through. There's nothing there that allows you to just um, like erase part of it. It's all or nothing. So um, that, in my opinion, failed miserably. Now, my opinion, um, I don't think I'd ever use it. I think I'd use either Topaz Remask, even on one's um, background removal, you know, tool that they have in their application or um, Photoshop for that matter. I think I could uh, do a better job on all these images uh, than they're able to do here. Now, again, I will reiterate that the small image that we're getting returned to us makes it a little more difficult to evaluate. So I will admit that it's probably not a really 
fair review in that regard. I was going to pay for it to do this review, but after I did a few sample images, I really didn't even want to spend the $10 uh, to do the pay-as-you-go. I didn't think I'd ever use it, and I didn't think it would be worth it. Uh, so, again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to it. Check it out for yourself. See if you like it. Again, I have no affiliation with uh, remove.bg, uh, so, you know, I won't make anything if you pay for it. Um, so, you know, it's up to you. Everyone's different. I just want to remind you, again, it will only do people, and it will only do products. It does not do um, anything else. Uh, so, like gorillas, um, panda bears, anything like that, it's not going to be able to do. Uh, now, um, again, I guess just to rehash it a little bit, it's totally free, as you saw when you use the website, but you get those small images returned to you. If you get the API call, uh, you register with the website, you'll get five free credits, and you'll get the API call. And you could do um, 50 API calls a month and uh, get the small images. Uh, anything beyond that, though, you're going to have to pay for it. Uh, and then, um, you know, I don't know how it works. Like I said, I decided not to pay for it, uh, so it's not a complete review, and I hope you understand why I decided not to pay for it. I really don't think it's worth it personally, but everyone's different. You be the judge. You have any more experience than I do with the website, as I mentioned. I just heard about it for some reason. It's been around for a while, but I just heard about it. If you have any more experience in it and you use it for anything specific, uh, talk about it in the comments below and share it with everyone. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.